35 years after his death, a final goodbye to Thomas Sankara and 12 of his companions who are being laid to rest at a memorial in Ouagadougou. Sankara, a pan-Africanist revolutionary who was also a feminist and an environmentalist. He sought to lift his people out of poverty and emancipate them from what he saw as the shackles of the former colonial power France. He is being buried where he was assassinated. This will help revive the revolution and keep his legacy alive after the tragic death. A court last year convicted several military commanders and Sankara's closest friend, former President Blaise Compaoré, for their role in the assassination. The trial started after France agreed to release secret documents, but the court failed to determine whether France had any involvement in Sankara's murder. The burial comes days after Burkina Faso's junta severed military ties with France. Hundreds of French special forces were asked to leave the country on Sunday. Ibrahim Traoré, who took power in a coup last year, blames France for heavy losses in the battlefield. The country faces a surge of attacks from armed groups linked to Al-Qaeda and ISIL. Many of the fighters are villagers from the north of Burkina Faso, turning against their government. Traoré is trying to associate himself with the memory of Sankara in an effort to unite the country. When you carry a weapon that can kill, and you're in uniform, you need to understand the implications and responsibilities. So many soldiers are on the battlefields committing crimes without understanding that they are fighting men and women who perhaps aspire to the same common ideals. Sankara, a soldier who was also regarded as a messenger for peace, unity and compassion. Many in his now divided country want to see those ideals revived. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera.